Are you talking to me? There's nobody else here, so I guess you must be talking to me. Are you talking to me, punk? And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Shit. Mm -hmm. Stupid fucking thing. Now, of course, you know, like on camera, like every goddamn prop ever made just breaks down. What the fuck? You know? And I gave a great performance and the fucking prop left me down. Okay, let me try it again. Like, uh, ugh, it's like really angry, like, you know, Sam Jackson just wasting some, you know, popping the cap and some... There we go, there we go. Shit. Ran out of rubber bands. Anyway, this is a rubber band gun. I got it. Really cool, isn't it? Okay. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah? I feel totally cool. I've been like walking around with it all day. I feel like the ultimate badass, you know, with a balsa wood rubber band gun. <laughs>
cleave the two people that make up every woman. You want to cleave away the sexual packaging so that you can focus on who she actually is. Now, this is actually a very good exercise and I do it all the time and it helps me and I'll explain why. You see, when you meet a woman who is sexually very attractive, you focus on that, of course. But if you consciously and deliberately try to ignore her sexual attractiveness in order to focus on the actual person, what will happen is that by pushing that stuff aside, the sexual attractiveness, the sexual packaging, your anxiety level will decrease. Because when you see a beautiful woman, you want her. Your desire makes you anxious, makes you spur out, makes you be an idiot, right? If you consciously and deliberately set aside that aspect of the woman and just focus on her as a person, ignoring how sexually attractive she is, your anxiety will decrease. You won't be spurging out like you normally do, like I do, like every guy does. You'll start to spurg out less and focus on who she actually is and get to find out if you actually want to be with her. Because there are lots of women that they're all good and fine for a one night stand, but you don't want to be around them long term. But the problem is that, see, if you allow the sexual packaging to overwhelm you, you're going to get screwed. You're going to find out later that she's awful and maybe she got pregnant by you and you're fucked. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important that you do this for two reasons. Number one, to be more sexually successful. Because by setting aside her sexual attractiveness and focusing on her, you'll be less spurgy, more natural, more attractive. You'll do better with the woman, right? And by setting aside her sexual attractiveness and focusing on her, you'll get to know her. You'll get to know her as she actually is, okay? Think of that girl you know that you really like her, but you don't find her attractive at all. I mean, we've all had that friend, that, that girl we know, that she's great, she's smart, she's fun, you, you tell jokes and everything is funny and you like the same music and the same TV shows and all that shit, but you just don't want to sleep with her. You find her just a great person, right? And what happens inevitably? She's crazy about you. She's absolutely over the moon over you, okay? It happens all the time. It happens all the time. It happens because you're focusing on the person. Paradoxically, see, this is what women want. They want the guy to focus on them as people. Women need the sexual packaging to attract the men, but what they really want is for the guy to be focused on them, on, on the real girl, not the sexual packaging of the girl, right? It's really fucking funny. In a very real sense, the sexual packaging gets in the way of the relationship. It attracts the guy, but the sexual packaging makes him nervous. Nervous enough that he spurs out. Nervous enough that he doesn't focus on the woman, he focuses on how hot she is. You see? See the tragedy of the situation? Now, see, deliberately setting aside desire, deliberately ignoring the sexual packaging, it's actually, <laughs> if you want to think about it, it's, it's the basis of one of the great religions on earth, in Buddhism. Now, think about it. What is Buddhism based on? Buddhism is based on the notion that if you ignore desire, you will be happier. The basic mechanics of, of Buddhism is as follows. If you have desire, if you want something and you don't achieve it, you'll be unhappy. Therefore, if you eliminate desire, you will never be unhappy. And therefore, the opposite of being unhappy is being happy. That, in a fairly grotesque way, is Buddhism. Eliminate desire and you will be happy. Well, I don't really agree with Buddhism, but in this case, I completely agree. They are completely in the right. Eliminate desire. Eliminate noticing the sexual packaging and focus on the woman and you'll do fine. You'll get the woman. Ironically enough, it's a lot like chopping logs. You ever chopped a log? If you aim for the log, you're just going to chip it away. But rather than aiming for the log, if you aim for the base of the chopping block, you'll slice right through that log. 